Hello everyone and welcome back to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. So something that is often used in the 3D printing world and can be very very useful is text that's built into the part specifically. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to put text onto this part both on a flat face which is obviously the easiest part but then also how to do it on a curved face because this can give you very good details and it will not be in the same plane once it's wrapped onto the face. So without further ado let's start. So the first thing that we need to do to create text is to actually create a sketch. I like to use construction lines because we need this line to exist in order for our text to be attached to. So if you first launch, let's back up. All right, so we have our line there and that's important for what you'll see right now. Now, once we launch the sketch text tool, it asks for a curve. So we give it a curve. We tell it it's this line then we say our text is on there XYZ that's easy so now once you're in this tool you can do things like reverse it so it'll flip to the other side or actually change the orientation completely but let's leave it right side up and left to right here this document format is set in the base settings of your part but we don't want that and I like to adjust it in points because it's easy to estimate about how much bigger it's gonna get rather than units so we'll say 20 points okay that's not nearly big enough let's change this to 60 points all right now this is 60 points I like that size it's not too big it's not too small make sure we press the green check mark and now we have this text and remember how this line is important this will actually move the part and it basically indexes with this point and there's a set offset but now we can move it around if we need to move the edge start beginning but make sure that it's big enough that all of your text is there so now this becomes a closed contour and we can interact with it just like normal so we can do an extruded cut and we'll say let's make this an eighth inch deep cut that into the surface and now we have XYZ cut an eighth inch into the surface of this part now that's pretty straightforward relatively simple but then the question is what do we do if it's a curved face what if we want XYZ on this face and let's let's do it so first thing we need to do is we need to add a reference plane that we can sketch on so if I click this it'll default to tangent click this face okay it's it defaults to perpendicular but we want it parallel there we go it's tangent to this face it's parallel to this face there we go so now let's do the same thing we did on the first face get our line make it a construction line make it flat and then let's add some text we'll do the same XYZ go through change it to 60 points save that off and now we have a close contour sketch on the face let's try and even that up a little bit a little bit too far there we go that's good enough for what we're doing now the important thing here is we don't actually interface with anything up here in this we have to close out of our sketch so this is just becomes a closed contour sketch over here then we go to features and wrap now wrap knows because that was already selected sketch 6 was selected let's get off of that so you can see what it'll do if I don't have it selected basically says give me an existing sketch or if you want to we can make a new sketch so we're gonna select sketch 6 now it knows what we're doing now we need to give it a face let's give it this face so now as you can see it takes it and projects it and wraps it onto the surface it doesn't project it straight back it actually follows the contour of this face and now within this menu you have the ability to make it a emboss deboss and actually just kind of like a scribe etch line so I can just show you how that looks and we'll make it an eighth inch deep to match the other one and now you have an embossed feature so it sticks out rather than cut in well, let's say we want to make it look like the other one we just flip this menu around and now it's cutting into the part face and just for sanity's sake and making sure everything is well ironed out let's just see what a scribe line is so that just projects it onto the face it doesn't cut it it doesn't extrude it it doesn't do anything 
So hopefully this taught you a little bit on how you can add text to SolidWorks parts on both a flat face and also a curved face. If you have any other questions, just feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks. See you in the next one.